Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the keyboard commands focus mode in Pro Tools. What this does is it allows a bunch of different single key keyboard shortcuts to be able to do different functions that would typically take at least two keys together in a shortcut. For instance, zooming in or out would normally be control left or right bracket on a PC and command left or right bracket on a Mac. However, with keyboard commands focus, you can just use the letters R and T to zoom in and zoom out. Before I get into what we're going to be covering in this tutorial, I just want to point out there are three different areas that can be controlled by keyboard command focus mode. The most common one is your edit view, and that's with this little A through Z button right here, lit. If you happen to have the one lit in the clips list right there, now your keyboard will let you choose different clips in your project. So in other words, if you had a guitar, you would press G. If you had an intro, you would press I. Or if you knew that it was just named audio, you could hit A for audio and it would take you to that point in the list alphabetically. The third place is in the groups. So right here in your groups dialog, you can actually choose to enable or disable them by using the letters that correspond with the group. So for instance, if I hit A, that would disable that group and re-enable it, same with B, and so on and so forth. But we're gonna jump back to the main edit window keyboard focus mode. So to start with, we'll talk about some zoom functions. As I mentioned before, we've got zoom out R and zoom in, which is T. We also have some zoom presets in Pro Tools. So if you use one through five on the main numbers of the keyboard, not your number pad, you then have these different preset zoom settings. We also have a function known as zoom toggle. So in other words, if I had this track really tall and I just wanted to zoom out for a second to look at the rest of mine, I could do that with the letter E. Now let's talk about some cursor navigation and editing type shortcuts. Of course, navigation is quite important in Pro Tools. That's why these particular shortcuts are invaluable to enhancing your workflow. So we've got the letter P, which moves the cursor to the next track up, whereas the semicolon will move it down. And if you want to move forward or backwards by transient, you simply use the keys right next to them, use the comma to go to the right by transient, or the L to go to the left. And of course, this works this way if tab to transient is enabled. If you take off tab to transient, then you'll be able to move the cursor left and right by clip boundaries. Now, another very important one, if for nothing else, then it can mess you up during a session, is the letter N. And what that does is it toggles timeline insertion follows playback on or off. What that means is, You'll either have playback where it starts, and when you hit stop, it jumps back to the beginning of your playback range. Whereas if you enable it, which is right here, by the way, and the letter N will do it as well. Now you can see that the cursor continues on from where it last stopped. This is very useful for certain types of workflows, such as post-production, but for music, it may not be so much. The next shortcuts I'm going to show you have to do with how to nudge your cursor forward or backwards by the current grid value. In this case, we've got a grid value of 16th notes. We'll just change that to 8th notes so it's a little easier to see. And if we use the main period key, this will nudge you forward by the session's current nudge value. And the comma will nudge you back by the session's current nudge value. If you wish to move forward at twice the current nudge value, you use the forward slash key right next to the period key, or use the M key on the other side, just to the left of the comma key to move backwards by twice the current nudge value. Now let's check out some editing shortcuts. Of course, we've got your typical cut, copy, paste. However, in this case, we don't need the control key on PC or command on the Mac. We can just simply hit C, maybe move the cursor forward a little bit, and then V for paste. If we want to cut, same thing, just hit X, move the cursor where we want it to go, 
then hit V to paste. Now undo, which is typically control Z or command Z, just requires a Z. And to redo, it's simply shift Z. So I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of the keyboard command focus mode in Pro Tools. This is a very powerful workflow enhancer. And I encourage anyone who uses Pro Tools on a regular basis, understand the functions available with these one keystroke shortcuts. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by.